Good morning, internet. So it's Thursday morning. I clearly just got out of the shower and I need to make dinner for this evening. So we're gonna do a really quick and easy crock pot recipe. Okay, did I mention this was easy? This is what we're looking at. We have a can of French onion, a can of cream of celery, and then about a pound and a half of stew beef, and we have a crock pot. So I'm gonna add all these together and put the crock pot on low for the next six to eight hours, which will be a little bit longer because that's when someone will actually get home for dinner. So I'm gonna go through and open all of these and dump it all in and show you what it looks like when I literally add beef, soups. So here's my beef. Again, it's stew meat, it's a pound and a half. I'm gonna open it up like so and try to not touch all the meaty bits when I'm doing this with one hand. This is, this is a winning strategy here. Um, I will obviously still be washing my hands. But I'm gonna toss all this in pretty much like you see it right now. And there's gonna be a little thing underneath it that'll have to rescue. Oh, there's two things. Here we go. Oh. All right, I have my two soups open. Knew I couldn't do that with one hand because uh, last week, pretty sure ripped the tab off of one of these things. Actually, it was smaller and weaker, but whatever. So there's my meat just hanging out. I haven't even stirred it. Plunk this in there. Yeah, that was delicious looking. Um, I know recipes like this get a lot of flack because they have a lot of sodium. Um, I agree to a certain extent, but again, a well-balanced diet is how you can get away with doing this from time to time. Uh, in goes my French onion soup. I also saw some comments on this particular recipe that people hated onion in any form. So how could they possibly make this recipe without some sort of substitute? I don't know. All right, need it on low, enter, big loud noise, here we go. Not entirely sure why my crock pot feels the need to scream at me. Uh, but it does. So, I'm gonna get one of these spoons here. And I'm gonna give this a little stir to try to get all the meaty bits towards the bottom. And this is literally like a five second meal. In fact, it is 7.50. I need to be at work somewhere in the ballpark of eight o'clock. And I will probably get there because I live nice and close. So here we go. That doesn't exactly look appetizing, but it does look well stirred. And I guarantee when I come home this evening, or probably when JJ comes home this evening, because he'll be home first and ready to eat first, it will be done and it will be some sort of golden brown. Um, serve this with noodles. We're gonna do wide egg noodles. We've also served this in the past with mashed potatoes. Um, if you're really in a pinch, I guess you could do um, instant potatoes, but we'll be doing wide egg noodles and I'll show you a shot of what it looks like when it's done later this evening. See you in six to eight hours, but probably more like 10. So here's the finished product. Very nice. And noodles, courtesy of the boyfriend. <laughs> 